feel like I'm going to be flying around in Vietnam. We need some good tour duty music. That would be the Rolling Stones. You're a Rolling Stone. All right, welcome everyone. So my good friend Steve is over for the first time flying a helicopter. Steve is an armored crewman, which would translate perfectly over <laughs> to flying helicopters. Because if you can fly a tank, you can fly a bus, which means you can fly a helicopter because of the Chinook. The Chinook is looked and shaped like a bus. So it makes sense that the bus would be flyable. So that means that a Huey is the same thing, right? Because a Huey and a Chinook fly the same. So let's fucking get it on. You know I'm gonna thunder in right off the bat. You will probably thunder in right off the bat. But the neighbor's kid, the neighbor's kid just did this. Look at you, pilot. I told you people, tank equals bus equals tank bus. No, helicopter, Chinook. Nice, like a boss. like a boss's boss. So the good news is Steve is not the first person to come over here and just get it. And I'm not saying that you don't need hundreds and hundreds of years of flight school. So Steve's gonna do some multitasking. Steve, can you tell me what the aircraft are that are on the ground? Uh, friendly. <laughs> good. Are you going to buzz the tower? I will try not hitting it this time. <laughs> buzz the tower. Are those planes out of this world? To be fair, the last time that Steve Flo was a Cessna and we tried to buzz the tower and he buzzed the tower badly. Yeah, so this guy just dropped his coffee like in Top Gun and in Maverick, I might add, which is also Top Gun. Steve, this is more like pod racing than DCS, right? Well, there's no guns on this thing, so it's well, kind of less... Well, I mean, there are. There are dudes in the doors. But you're right. You've got no crew and no ammo, so that's kind of the same thing. Oh, my God. I thought you were going to try to pop your bridge cherry there for a moment. I, I will definitely <laughs> pop it. Pop, I will <laughs> pop bridge, something. Pop something, maybe. Maybe the rotor blade again. Fireball. delicious coffee. I feel like that colonel in uh, Apocalypse Now, you know the one who was like sitting and talking with, uh, what was it, L L Lance? Yeah, Lance, Lance the surfer, yeah. and he's just drinking a coffee and he's like, it's just a flare, it's just a flare. Lance, are you okay? Are the boards okay? <laughs> Such an epic movie. Oh, look, a hella, oh. Yeah, that, the sun tanners on that roof were not impressed or not happy. Steve, I'm impressed. This is, uh, this is looking really good. This reminds me of that time I jumped out of a helicopter once. Didn't that happen several times, Steve? Or did it just happen the once? Mm, a couple, I think. So I'm not That's para-qualified, but Steve is. And the one thing Steve did tell me is if you're jumping out of a plane, it's okay to jump up and out. <laughs> But, but not in helicopters, it's frowned upon. If you're going to do helicopter, resist the urge to Peter Pan. Because, I don't know, that would be messy. I feel like I'm going to fly into a building. Uh, that was, yeah, so that Krasnovian there was very upset. I think somebody on their, their uh, balcony just pooped themselves. More coffee. I know the guys in the back just pooped themselves. Do these buildings remind you of the construction that is used in Gage Town to make the shacks? Um, you mean like they look like prisons? <laughs> well, there is that. <laughs> that is a high bank. Steve, you almost maintained positive G in that corner. <laughs> well, I had to give something for my door gunner. Right, who probably jumped out. As soon as they found out that you were a tank driver, and that our, our train of thought was tanks are dri driving buses and driving buses is like a Chinook and a Chinook is like a Huey, which makes sense. And this is proof, scientific proof, ladies and gentlemen, that that is a thing. Oh my God, this is not, this is getting too saucy. 
this is the problem when you have a fake helicopter and it doesn't cost anything. So to anyone who's interested in buying a motion sim, you can tell your significant other They are awesome. That they are awesome. Thank you, Steve. That's very very accurate. Observant. But, but more important that the cost of the unit goes down every time you crash a helicopter by about ten million dollars. So you pay ten thousand dollars for the unit and you crash a single helicopter. You just saved yourself whatever ten million minus ten thousand is, which is a bargain. And then you crash a second time. Ridiculous. Not to mention all the man hours on uh, maintenance on the ground. Right. Fuel costs. The turbine. It, the turbines are just very very delicate. So do you feel, Steve, that this is kind of like? You know when you first start to drive a car, you're thinking about driving a car and then you start to get to the point where you're not really thinking about what you're doing, it just kind of happens, autonomous? Yeah, definitely you... the uh, the stick is, once you get it figured, it... Uh... So do you feel as if you've become one with the helicopter? you definitely got to slow everything down. Inputs are much slower, more deliberate. Like it's just... Yeah. So it's like a blimp where you do something and then 10 seconds later the something happens. That was really close. So the good news is in this game they've modeled just the stick part of the tree, not the bushy part. So as long as the airframe doesn't hit the stick part, you might be fine. Buildings, not so much. Buildings aren't plants. Why does it look like a blood stain now? Because on the uh, center square. Krasnovia. Are we in Krasnovia again? Yeah, yeah. Damn it. Is Krasnovia a real place or is that that place that they made up? Uh, it's like Kerblakistan. Kerblakistan. Yeah, or Quebecistan is the one I used to like. That's then, a real, that is a real place, by the way. As, as an instructor, <laughs> it was really bad because I became aware that, you know, I'm from Quebec, so I make fun of it. But some of my Quebec students may not have found that to be very funny. They became always, snowflakes and got upset. Uh, you know, they weren't necessarily snowflakes, but they were melting. They, they were after your they class. Were <laughs> they were melting. They were melting. So, this is really impressive, Steve. Consider, you feel like trying to do a, a check flare and land. Do you think that's? Do you think that's in your repertoire? I don't know. Where should we put it? I mean, at this point, this is a solo flight, first flight. I say put it down wherever. Like a skidoo, maybe. Just slide right into second. <laughs> you know. Let's see. Hopefully I don't fucking die. Well, it wouldn't be the first time someone's exploded all over the runway in this game. Well, I don't think I'm on a runway. Oh, look at the railway train. Land on the train. This isn't Mission Impossible. Yeah, there is that. Is that a pipeline? I think I'm gonna snippy up on the, on the zoom here. See if I can actually do this without dying. Crap. Crap. We'll get a little bit more first person on this landing. Uh, I am no. Shit, no, shit, shit. no, no. Yes. Yes. Oh <laughs> nailed it. Oh, stuck it. You're like hired. a lawn dart. This is uh, proof that years of smoking and drinking beer. <laughs> now see if I can take off again without and, dying. And a can do attitude. Sometimes education is not needed. All you need is the desire to be effective. Oh, dude, you even landed right next to a telephone pole. No, oh, I'm gonna vomit. I'm no, gonna vomit. No, no, no. What wrong are you doing? foot, wrong foot. Ah, no, right? ah crap. I'm you're, gonna lose, you're, you're I'm gonna lose the blade. You're fine. You're fine. Lance, are you okay? <laughs> it's just a flare. Right. Oh, I think fuck. you need to push the other foot. No, no, you can't not have your feet on the pedal. Uh, well, I figured, you know, like throttle out smooth brain. It doesn't work like that. Oh man, I cannot see what's going okay, on. Okay, so you're obviously turning right, so push left. Left foot, the other foot, there you go. The other, push your left foot. And there we go. Is Come it on. possible that you broke the helicopter? Did I break the rotor? There you go. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, no, it, it no, broke. No, no. This is not good, not good, this is not good. That is not, put it what is that? What does that alarm sound like? What, what's going on there? That's a six second successful landing. Oh! Yeah. 
I think I broke the rotor on the last one, I, I or the wait. tail rotor. My favorite part is once the helicopter stops, about 15 seconds later, the alarm goes off for no reason. Well, there's a reason, you're inverted. There, <laughs> there it is. So what happened was we went inverted. <laughs> what happened was. <laughs> oh, fuck. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. It is possible to put an armored crewman in a helicopter and take off. <laughs>